Hi everyone, it's Ginny again. Um, this time I want to show you the fabulous prize that I won from Sonia Steptoe. I entered her recent 4,000 subscriber um, birthday challenge giveaway, I think it was, where we had to send a um, a sorry, <laughs> brain's a bit slow a um, journal page and decorate two sides of the journal page um, and send it to her and then she intends to put all the pages that she received into a book which is really good so I entered that and I was really lucky to win and my choice of prize was a fabric package or a paper package so I chose the paper because that's what I use the most of in my art and craft. So I'm about to pull this out for the first time. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, this will just give me a lovely note with gorgeous little birds on it. Because Sonia loves birds as much as I do. She says thanks for the lovely entry. Cute little birdies. <laughs> And it's wrapped in um, really lovely fabric pattern paper. I really like the, this colour. I've got some um, pattern papers that I use, but they're all white. And I like this. It gives it more of a vintage look to it. This might even be a vintage pattern. <clears throat> okay, I don't want to damage this too much, so I think I'll slide the stuff out from inside if I can. No, I have to do it a bit at a time. Oh, now I've got someone coming. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a phone call. Um, I hope the light's still alright. It's fading rapidly now okay so I was about to pull this out a bit at a time oh wow it's a nice paper oh it's a book page a ghost story <laughs> it's a good picture on there oh what's this Oh, that's fabulous. It's a sticky um, plastic pocket. That'd be, oh, there's another one. That'd be fantastic in a journal when you could put things in it. Love that. Oh, really nice old book pages. Laughs from the shows. I love this. Um, oh, look at that. Really old advertising. Oh, these are fantastic. Sorry, I'm just re reading them. Really old adverts in the books. And information. Fantastic. I love really old books book pages. Some more of the larger size. This is a dictionary by the looks of it. Fantastic dictionary pages. Oh look at this. <laughs> the new wind power hairbrush in Brownie Town. Isn't that cute? <laughs> is a little um oh that just fell off I thought that was part of it okay so that's a fabulous picture on its own and there's some more book pages from what looks like children's storybook looks like um is it bible stories maybe yeah about Jonah and the whale Awesome, really good pictures. 
thanks, Sonia. I love these. I knew I'd love anything that you sent me, though. <laughs> I'm pretty much... My daughter often says to me, you're so easy to give gifts to because you love everything. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I do. She even brought me back... Um, she went to Thailand quite a while ago and she brought me back some little um, pebbles from the place where she was staying and I got really excited because I've got pebbles from Thailand now and she says oh I didn't even buy you anything <laughs> I said I don't mind I love them There's some more this is from Sleeping Beauty it's really nice large text and nice pictures that one's cute faces in the love heart. This book belongs to, oh wow, 1935. I can't read the writing, I think it says Bill, this Bill from, no I can't read. Something and Jack. Christmas 1935. Wow. Fantastic. Look at all this beautiful vintage stuff. This is all oh, music paper. Fantastic. I love music paper. And um, I was just looking through um, some of my stuff recently and I was tidying up and I found I've got one music paper book that I totally forgot I had because I thought I'd run out altogether. And now I've got another one. <laughs> oh, Woman's Weekly. Gee, look how old that is. Does it have the date? It was eight cents in Australia. 1966. Wow. Eight cents. You couldn't get a magazine for for a um, a pattern catalogue or whatever this is for eight cents now. Definitely not. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> you must tell your husband. <laughs> well, that's a cool picture. I hope you can see all this all right. I'm worried about the lighting. I love this old brown. The way that it's discoloured from age. All the adverts in there. Fantastic. stuff on the back. Mary Mary at Mary Marriott advises. Oh it's an advice column. If you need a helping hand and have no one you can turn to, write to Mary Marriott. Her understanding and sympathetic advice have comforted so many readers over the years. Oh wow. Well beyond the years of the internet, hey. <laughs> I'm just briefly reading the first question. There's something about worried about their job and finances. Someone else has got a problem with someone at work. A, a man at work has said that he's in love with her and she doesn't know how to deal with it. <laughs> That's interesting. I like these old ads. Germaline. Where's the germaline? I've got a spot coming. Oh, so that must be for an acne cream. <laughs> These are great. Life Boy. Life boy families are healthy families. 
Wow, that's awesome, Sonia. And some more book pages. 1948. Wow, where do you get all these from? Op shops, maybe. FOMO Bubble <laughs> Ah, and it was actually, first edition was printed in 1942. Wow. Elizabeth found the horizon. <laughs> Fobo Bubble Oh yeah, more children's stories with great illustrations. They'd be really good to um, copy or colour in or use on a journal page. love looking at them. Sorry. I should show you, shouldn't I? Camera clicked off there. Maybe you can see a bit better if I'm up closer. I had to stand up to turn the camera on so I may as well stand here for a minute. Is that one? What's she doing? Dozens of little eyes were staring at Elizabeth. <laughs> Not sure what that, it looks like um, under the sea, because there's seaweed and shells and starfish. Hmm. Maybe that's what the story, oh the story, a fish's tail. So I'm going backwards. <laughs> what shall I do, wept Elizabeth. <laughs> Oops. So there, yeah, that's that. Fantastic. Now what's here? Oh, oh, all stuff's falling out. Okay, first of all, I've got this beautiful paper. Oh, look. You see that? It's a lovely vintage lady in there. That's really nice. And some more paper. Antique jewellery, silver bout, 1900. Picture of antique jewellery. Hmm. Like the old pocket watches. Um. another one. That's lovely. Oh, that's the same image on here, on there, that looks like someone's made a bag with it. And there's a bird in there too. I didn't see that on the other one. Oh, no, it's on here. Oh, there's a letter. I'm gathering the words to write a letter true so you never forget just how much I love you. Not just another email or a text sent to your phone. What I want to say should be send, sent by post alone. I'll type a thousand letters or write them out all neat to tell you through my note what I that I think you're so sweet. When it comes through your door and you open it, you'll see three little crosses, each one a kiss from me. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah, the um, lost art of snail mail letter writing. Mm. A week in Paris. Some pictures of apartments in Paris. Very nice. And oh, some butterfly stickers. Yay. They're so pretty. And the pinks and purples and blues. Very nice. And it looks like some cut out pictures. Yeah. Oh, look at the gorgeous vintage girls. I hope that you can see that all right. Mm, look at that. <laughs> it's very cute. It's got a little dog. 
Mm, these are wonderful. Thank you, Sonia. Mm, it's going to be fun using these. Oh, look at that one. Pretty doll. I don't know why she reminds me of Princess Di. Must be the way she's holding her head. <laughs> and then there's some little you know, die cuts, I think. You know, little shapes, a circle. Oops, flowers. Circle. Circles and flowers. Very nice. Well, they're cute, like little daisies. Thank you very much, Sonia. I love everything. Can't wait to use it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> so there you go. That was my winning prize from the very lovely Sonia Steptoe. So thank you very much for watching everyone. And Oh no, no, I haven't finished. What am I doing? <laughs> Sorry. I'm taking my time, aren't I? I thought I'd pulled everything out, but there's more in here even still. More pages. Wow. This is from a recipe book by the looks of it. How to make fondant creams and peppermint creams. Wow, this is so old. Fruits made with unboiled marzipan. Marzipan confections. My sister would love that. She loves marzipan. Wow. Sweets made with boiled fondants. It's fantastic. See if I can find a. No, there's no age on there. That's uh, pretty old. Okay. Um, it's a little bit of card. Australian Post Office. And some receipts. Oh, look at that. I don't have anything like this. That's really cool. The really old receipts when you write on them and they duplicate underneath. I think that's how they work. And some envelopes. Airmail envelopes. And a little spotty bag. <laughs> spotty dots because Sonia likes them. And a paper bag. And another white one. Oh, fantastic. Look, index cards. They're really big. Wow, I haven't seen them this size. Awesome. And oh, nice, really thick um, paper from another. Is it a children's story? The Secret of the Scarlet Skates by Ernest H. Robinson. A thrilling story of the frostbound fens. <laughs> wow, this paper is really thick. It's almost like card. A really aged paper. No pictures, but it's still really nice. Okay, that's it now. Wow, that's a huge package of goodies. Thank you so much, Sonia. Absolutely wonderful. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll be back again soon and I'll show you some other happy mails that I received quite a few months ago. But it's taken me this long to get the gumption up to get um, turning the camera on again. But I'm back now, so that's good camera cut out just as I was saying goodbye so I was saying see you again soon thanks for watching bye